For the past two decades, Mars has emerged as a compelling subject of discussion, captivating the imaginations of people worldwide, with NASA and other space agencies actively pursuing plans to establish human colonies on the red planet in the coming decades, Mars has never been closer to becoming a reality. Notably, the efforts of NASA and tech entrepreneur Elon Musk have been instrumental in generating widespread interest in Mars exploration. In this video, we explore the Martian landscape, discussing its unique challenges, future prospects, and fascinating composition. This one-of-a-kind video promises to be a must-watch for all space enthusiasts, offering insights into the planet that you have never seen before. Without further ado, let's dive in. While Mars may appear boring and barren at first glance, it has a rich history waiting to be discovered. Unfortunately, the planet's weak magnetic field has caused its atmosphere to thin over time, rendering it virtually inhospitable. Despite this, we remain fascinated with the idea of making Mars our new home. However, the challenges we face are daunting. The lack of magnetic shielding means that the surface is bombarded with harmful solar radiation capable of causing skin cancer. In addition, the high levels of carbon dioxide gas present on Mars pose further challenges to human habitation. Fierce dust storms that can last for weeks pose yet another challenge, making survival on the planet difficult for even the most resilient of humans. However, not all is doom and gloom. Despite these challenges, there are intriguing features that make Mars an exciting destination for exploration. Did you know that the planet was once covered in water with seas, rivers, and lakes? Unfortunately, this water has evaporated over time and escaped into space, leaving behind a barren landscape. In addition, Mars experiences powerful earthquakes known as Marsquakes, similar to the tremors we experience on Earth. Interestingly, our moon also experiences similar earthquakes known as moonquakes. Mars is the most extensively explored planet in our solar system, with numerous missions and rovers sent to its surface. Its name, given by the Romans, means the god of war, likely due to its reddish appearance resembling blood. The planet's distinct color comes from the abundance of iron oxide in its soil, which creates a rust-colored hue when it reacts to oxygen. Aside from its unique appearance, Mars boasts some of the most impressive geological features in our solar system. It is home to Valles Marineris, the longest and deepest valley in our solar system, as well as Olympus Mons, the highest mountain. This colossal volcano stands at a staggering height of 17 miles, or 27 kilometers, making it over three times taller than Mount Everest. While it is currently dormant, scientists believe that there may be other active volcanoes in the vicinity. Valles Marineris, the Grand Canyon of Mars, is a breathtaking marvel of the red planet. Discovered in 1971 by the Mariner 9 spacecraft, this is the longest and deepest valley in the solar system, stretching an astounding 4,000 kilometers in length. This massive geological wonder is so vast, it could easily engulf the entire width of the Australian continent. Its formation is believed to be the result of the violent shifting of Mars' tectonic plates, creating a rift. This incredible canyon is not only a testament to the raw forces that shape our universe, but it may also have once hosted flowing rivers of water, providing invaluable clues into the planet's watery history. Valles Marineris remains a focal point of intense study for planetary scientists worldwide. Traces of ancient rivers and canals, some stretching up to 2,000 kilometers in length and 1,000 kilometers in width, have been discovered on the enigmatic planet Mars. Through extensive research of Martian rock samples, scientists have uncovered evidence suggesting that Mars was once home to vast amounts of water. In fact, a 2018 study revealed a tantalizing possibility that salty water may still exist beneath the planet's surface. Such a discovery would have incredible implications, potentially increasing the likelihood of finding microbial life on the red planet. It is certain that oxygen played a crucial role in the formation of Mars's signature red hue, as iron oxide, the compound responsible for the planet's coloration, is created through the reaction of iron and oxygen. Thus, the abundance of oxygen on Mars is undeniable further fueling our curiosity and desire to unravel the mysteries of this otherworldly realm. Due to its significant distance from the sun, Mars is deprived of adequate sunlight and warmth, resulting in an eternally frigid climate. In the winter season, the temperature plummets to a staggering minus 125 degrees Celsius, whereas during summer, it remains approximately equivalent to the average temperature of our planet, around 20 degrees Celsius. In the equatorial zone, Temperatures hover at a steady 20 degrees Celsius throughout the day. This is why scientists recommend establishing colonies on Mars' equator as a priority, thereby sidestepping the challenges posed by the planet's inhospitable temperatures in the early stages of colonization. 
cloud formation and rain are almost impossible on Mars due to its thin atmosphere, a fact revealed by data collection by NASA spacecraft MAVIN. Scientists found that Mars lacks a thick atmosphere because it lacks a strong magnetic field. The magnetic field is formed due to the rotation of charged particles present in a planet's core. The more particles, the stronger the magnetic field. However, Mars cooled down long ago, and its center lacks enough charged particles to create a strong magnetic field, resulting in its weak and almost negligible magnetic field. A planet's magnetic field protects it from harmful charged particles, like those in solar wind or solar storms, which can cause blackouts and destroy the atmosphere. In the abundance of a magnetic field, repeated solar storm attacks destroyed Mars' atmosphere, causing all its matter to evaporate into space. In November 2018, a groundbreaking moment occurred in space exploration, as NASA successfully landed the spacecraft InSight on the red planet Mars. Its sole mission was to gather vital information about the planet's interior, leading to a profound discovery known as Marsquakes. InSight's incredible capabilities allowed scientists to finally uncover the inner layers of the planet, a mystery that had puzzled researchers for years. Following in InSight's footsteps, NASA launched the Perseverance rover in 2020, a robotic astrobiologist charged with the task of exploring whether life ever existed on Mars. This ambitious spacecraft offered a unique perspective on the planet, capturing over 282,000 photos and recording the first ever sounds emanating from within the planet's surface. Equipped with highly advanced instruments and tools, Perseverance meticulously examines the rocks and soil of Mars to uncover any biosignatures, a telltale sign of past life on the planet. With a drilling machine installed on the rover, Perseverance is capable of extracting rock samples from the planet's surface, an exciting prospect for scientists hoping to uncover even more information about the planet. The rover's mission is set to continue until 2030, allowing researchers to explore Mars in even greater detail. They hope to land Perseverance in various craters across the planet, as these areas are prime locations to discover biosignatures. The reason for this is simple. The existence of life is typically linked to water, and research indicates that water on Mars would have been concentrated in these craters, making them the most likely places for life to have originated. Perseverance research focus is predominantly on sedimentary and igneous rocks, which provide scientists with critical information about the geological history of Mars, not just biosignatures. Understanding a planet's geological history is essential for scientists to gain insights into its past and present conditions. Rocks provide scientists with information on the age of a planet and its entire history. Through extensive research and data collection, scientists can determine the age of rocks and unravel the planet's entire history. On Earth, Scientists have discovered structures called stromatolites, some of the oldest remnants of life on the planet. These structures are formed by microorganisms and made up of sediments. Scientists are looking for similar structures on Mars, because if any living creature had existed on Mars earlier, it must have formed structures similar to stromatolites. Though they may look different on Mars, the composition and function of such structures would be similar. Scientists believe that regardless of where life originates, its basic roots will always remain the same. This is why Perseverance is primarily studying ingenious and sedimentary rocks, as they offer the best chance to identify potential signs of life. The idea of human beings living on Mars by 2050 may seem far-fetched, but it is becoming increasingly plausible. In 2030, NASA plans to hold a conference bringing together some of the most capable astronauts, scientists, and businessmen from around the world to discuss research and funding for the colonization of other planets. One individual who has been instrumental in the movement towards Mars is Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, a company with the ambitious goal of sending humans to the red planet. Since his childhood, Musk has dreamed of going to Mars, and he has made it his life's mission to make that dream a reality. One of SpaceX's most significant accomplishments has been the development of reusable rockets, which safely land back on Earth after delivering their payload into space. Additionally, SpaceX has designed advanced spacesuits that are both lightweight and highly functional. Musk is also personally training a team of astronauts who will be sent to Mars, and his company has built the world's largest rocket, called the Starship, which is specially designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Martian environment. With individuals like Musk and companies like SpaceX leading the charge, the idea of human beings living on Mars is no longer just science fiction, but a real possibility in the not-too-distant future. Elon Musk has indeed expressed his desire to eventually send one million people to Mars, but it is important to know that this is a long-term goal and not a concrete plan. 
While Elon Musk has been instrumental in advancing space exploration technology and inspiring public interest in space travel, sending a million people to Mars by 2050 would require significant resources, technological advancements, and funding from various sources beyond SpaceX. The feasibility of this goal remains to be seen and will depend on a variety of factors such as funding, technological development, and international cooperation. What do you think? Will we be able to establish colonies on Mars by 2050? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.